Guys, Nigeria has discovered lithium. And now Elon Musk and Tesla want a piece of the pie. The whitish rock these men are chipping away at is lithium. Stuck inside these rocks is lithium, the white gold of the 21st century. Lithium is central to the production of rechargeable batteries and smartphones. Its role is most critical in the global transition to green energy. The worldwide trend toward renewable energy has increased demand for lithium, making Nigeria a potential significant source. Chinese firms and nationals have expressed a strong interest, with reports indicating their involvement in both legitimate and criminal mining activities. Discovery of Lithium in Nigeria In 2021, substantial lithium resources were discovered in Kakafu, Kwara State converting the area from a sleepy agricultural community to a mining powerhouse. Because lithium plays such an important part in the production of batteries for electric cars and other devices, this finding drew both domestic and worldwide interest. Lithium is a critical component in the production of batteries for electric communities. This new finding of the sought-after mineral, together with those made in the other four Nigerian states, means that Nigeria now possesses one of the greatest lithium deposits in Africa. For many years, Nigeria has been associated with oil, which has been both a blessing and a burden, fueling the economy but also exposing it to price instability and governance issues. And let us not forget, being the primary source of corruption and the majority of the country's disputes. However, as the globe swings away from fossil fuels, Global demand for petroleum will fall, and Nigeria will suffer if it does not diversify its resources. The good news is that if Nigeria effectively capitalizes on the lithium resource, it might rival the revenue provided by oil. Economic Implications for Nigeria This silvery white metal sometimes known as white gold, has become one of the world's most precious minerals because of its importance in the renewable energy revolution. As companies strive to reduce carbon emissions and embrace sustainability, lithium has become crucial, powering everything from electric vehicles, cell phones, and large-scale renewable energy storage systems. The Nigerian government estimates that the solid minerals industry, which includes lithium, might be valued up to $750 billion, or about double the country's present GDP. Despite this potential, the mining industry has regularly contributed less than 1% of Nigeria's GDP in the last five years. Proper harnessing of lithium resources might diversify Nigeria's economy, lessen reliance on oil, and increase earnings. The lithium discovery is thought to be among Africa's richest lithium reserves, establishing Nigeria as a potential key player in the global renewable energy revolution. According to predictions, by 2030, Africa would contribute around 20% of the world's lithium, with Nigeria potentially contributing more than 10% if effectively tapped. The country's lithium reserves, which are largely situated in Nasarawa, Kogi, and Kwara states, have lithium oxide concentrations of over 13%, making them one of the highest grade deposits in the world. As a result, international investors are taking notice, hoping to stake their place in what may be Africa's next major commodity boom. International interest and partnerships. These vast reserves have not gone ignored, attracting investors from China, the United Kingdom, Australia, and France all looking to establish a foothold in Nigeria's booming lithium industry. More than 10 multinational corporations have expressed interest, particularly from China, where companies such as AVZ Minerals and Gunfeng Lithium have developed local processing units to turn raw lithium into lithium oxide before exporting it to China. Kaduna State has chosen the Chinese company Mingjin Mineral Separation Limited to build Nigeria's first lithium processing plant in 2023, with plans to produce electric car batteries on site. This accomplishment represents an important step toward industrialization, in line with Nigeria's long-term ambition of expanding beyond raw material exports. This is consistent with Nigeria's strategy of processing natural resources domestically rather than exporting raw materials, as was formerly done. For example, in 2022, the Nigerian government rejected Tesla's request to acquire raw lithium 
emphasizing that all foreign companies must develop processing facilities in Nigeria before exporting lithium. I don't see why that battery cannot be produced here. The labor is cheaper, the economy is more vibrant. We have the brain and energy. China is not the only country vying for a piece of Nigeria's lithium wealth. Nigeria has entered into capacity building partnerships with international partners such as France, Germany and Australia to help the expansion of its mining industry. Although this appears to be wonderful news, there is a downside. Legal mining activities. Hour after hour they break pieces off the wall using hammers and chisels usually filling three sacks a day to net around 100 US dollars, more than double Nigeria's minimum wage. On a nearby main road, vendors then sort the lithium by quality to sell to informal networks. Everybody, children and the women are benefiting. Our last story today is from Nigeria, where in the quiet of the country's rural hinterland, Children as young as five are mining the prized white gold, lithium. Nigeria's slow pace in utilizing this resource has prompted many to take matters into their own hands. For example, hundreds of artisanal miners in Nasarawa, many of whom do not have formal licenses, physically collect lithium in dangerous conditions in order to escape the hardships of their lives. Every day, these miners make around $100 from their actions. Illegal mining has increased in Kakafu, with illegal workers, including miners, obtaining lithium in dangerous settings. This illegal operation has also been connected to financing armed organizations in northern Nigeria. This method has also shown the darker side of Chinese investors who buy lithium directly from small-scale miners, circumventing government rules. This means Nigeria is losing a significant amount of money from these operations. In response, the government has launched crackdowns, detaining unlicensed miners and forming a 2,000-strong core of mining marshals to regulate the sector. The government is enforcing policies requiring foreign investors to establish lithium processing facilities in the country in order to avoid the mistakes made in the oil sector, where crude exports concentrated wealth among elites while providing minimal benefits to the general population. The government has also stepped up its fight on unlawful mining operations. Tensions surrounding lithium resources have already risen, with some tribes disputing land title and others accusing mining corporations of exploitation. Potential contribution to GDP While the actual value of Nigeria's lithium deposits is yet unknown, the government's estimate of the solid mineral sector's worth of $750 billion demonstrates the enormous potential. Lithium mining if properly managed, has the potential to substantially boost Nigeria's GDP, provide job opportunities, and establish the country as a key player in the worldwide renewable energy supply chain. Countries such as Chile and Australia have effectively used their lithium fortune to build processing plants and boost their economies. Nigeria has the opportunity to follow suit. Nigeria's lithium discoverings offers a dramatic potential for economic diversification and prosperity. However, maximizing this potential necessitates resolving issues like unlawful mining, regulatory compliance, and transparent international relationships. Nigeria can exploit its lithium resources for long-term development and economic success by establishing strong policies and collaborating with credible global partners.